I meet our members of the 8th grade band along with the senior members from the symphonic band with a couple juniors thrown in for good luck from symphonic band. And we're going to try something different this year. Um, you'll recall if you attended our holiday concerts at any level, you saw a new format that we used this year where we were mixing the grade levels and so forth. And that was really received very well by both the, the uh, parents, the community, and the students as well. So we thought we would try that uh, with the pop there this year, do something a little different by bringing the high school kids here to perform with the eighth grade. Uh, they're going to be doing a couple numbers with us. The first one we're going to be doing is the Star Jungle Banner. And the reason for doing this is twofold. Number one, it's to get the eighth graders acclimated to playing the Star Jungle Banner, which they'll be needing for the marching season, which will be here before you know it. And secondly, uh, we've been doing a Mahoney Valley Scrappers game over the last couple of years where the students go perform out on Eastwood Field right before one of the Scrappers games. And that is set for Monday, June 17th, is when we will have all the current 6th, 7th, and 8th graders uh, invited to come play the Star Spangled Banner with us at the Scrappers game. So we're using the national anthem for, for that purpose today. The second song that the high schoolers are going to play with us are going to be the medley that Mr. Kelly puts together that we use at the 4th of July parade. It in, uh, includes This Is My Country and Our National March. And again, there was kind of a twofold uh, reason to get the kids playing that, that song this early in the year was to get the eighth graders acclimated to that marching band music. So when they make the transition to high school band, they're ready to go. And once again, you have, have a chance to play with the high school kids. So at this time, we will have our national anthem, please.
Oh, another, another round of applause, please, for our high school students sitting in with the eighth graders and helping out so well. That was amazing. Thank you, guys. band this past season, their theme was Back to the 80s, and the opening song for the show uh, back in the fall was Back to the Future. So we always have one of our students design a t-shirt in the fall that we wear for 8th grade band night when we bring the kids up to perform at the high school. Uh, this year the design winner was Dave Sethi, and we thought it would be a really cool idea to wear those t-shirts from the fall that we used for today's pasta dinner because we're going to pay tribute to Mr. Kelly and the high school marching band at this time by doing our own rendition of Back to the Future. incorporate some jazz improvisation and jazz music at the eighth grade level and we're going to play a, a jazz band piece but it can be used in the concert band idiom it's entitled sideways walking dog and gabby small is going to be playing piano down here uh, we've invited john hano freshman guitar player who played with us last year in eighth grade outstanding guitarist he's going to join us on this song uh, dave sethi will be playing drum set and it's going to feature our very own Cameron Burnett playing a wonderful tenor saxophone solo. So here is Sideways Walking Dog.
Cameron Burnett on tennis saxophone. Great job, Cameron. Yeah. I think Cameron deserves a free pass to dinner for getting up and playing in front of all of his classmates and you huge audience. That takes a lot of guts to do that, man. Thanks, Cameron. Entitled the Avengers theme. It's not the whole theme, but it's a, a little short snippet of it that we used at our pep rally uh, a few weeks ago. And it's a great exercise in getting the kids to learn rhythm, articulation, and moving their tongues quickly. Lots of 16th notes in this song, so I hope you enjoy the Avengers. first part of January. Uh, she'll be conducting with the sixth grade band later on uh, today. And that is Ms. Kayla Conrad, who's a student at Youngstown State University. So nice round of applause for Ms. Conrad and help them out. The eighth grade band has one more song we're going to play for you. Um, but I'd like to announce to you at the conclusion of the eighth grade band, we're going to have two soloists from the eighth grade band are going to be sticking around um, after everybody else leaves the staging area and doing some solos. This year, we're trying something a little bit different uh, to fill in the, the time gap in between the bands. Uh, we had students who auditioned to play solos, and this will happen in all the middle school grades. So you'll, later on throughout the day, you'll hear kids in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, as well as our two eighth graders. And uh, when we get to that part of the program, Ms. Conrad will be announcing those students. Uh, but it's something that we, we thought was going to be really cool to, to do. You'll hear some kids that are singing, some kids playing band instruments, some kids playing guitar, violin, piano. So it's going to be a really nice uh, format to, to change up our possibility a little bit and give you some extra entertainment in between the band. The 8th uh, grade band is going to conclude their portion of the Possibility concert with a, uh, another tune that we kind of brought back from the uh, pet band days. Uh, because of all the snow days that we had coming off of January, I don't think we've had a five-day week in school yet since being back after Christmas break. And because of that, it kind of played havoc with us getting ready with some of our songs. So we, we had to put some of them on the back burner. We'll use them in the spring concert. And we're going to fill in the rest of our time with a tune uh, that we used on the 8th grade fan night. This is called Rock You Like a Hurricane. <laughs> 